zone. A big connection on that one. 32 yards. But they didn't ease into that drive right out of the turnover. They go for the big shot downfield and hit it. A lot of teams have that opportunity, but not every coach is going to green light that type of a play call. I love their aggressiveness. That's going to set them back five yards. The delay of game backs him up five, first and 15. Off the play fake to Dobbins, here's Jackson. And his throw is incomplete. So much of this game is focus and concentration. And whenever I see guys running the in route, I know that in the back of their mind, they're always wondering who's lurking inside that might put a big head on them as they try and catch the ball. On second and 15 now, Jackson. And I think the ball's out, but this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. You can almost see inside his face mask there, the look of relief. He coughed it up, but it goes out of bounds. They keep it. Someone carrying around the lucky horseshoe, aren't they? If I were him, I'd go out and play the lottery after that one. A very fortunate man. And they're operating in plus territory here. They're thinking points. Definitely don't want to lose the football at this juncture. So possession still theirs, but now they face a third down. Now it's Jackson rolling to his right. And he's got this inside the 10 to the 9 before he's out of bounds. These type of plays are backbreakers for a defense. They thought they had him hemmed in, thought they were going to get him on the ground with the pass rush, but were unable to do so. He gets away, picks up a big first down, and sets up first and goal inside the 10. First and goal, a chance to convert that early turnover into points. They'll run with Dobbins. And from the nine, they get this to the five-yard line. So that run gets him about halfway home. Yes, now second and goal. The end zone beckons. It looms. They can do whatever they want. Full playbook. Run it again, or they can go play action and try and put. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Baltimore. J.K. Dobbins. A five-yard touchdown run. And they are able to strike first here on their opening drive. Tucker with the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Taken in at the three. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. And the interception thrown in the red zone last time. We'll see if they can rebound. I just have to think the last thing he said as they went back out there was, don't do that again. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, I think that. I think that not only did he say that, but he also told them, let's put it in the end zone that it's supposed to be in, all right? The end zone we're trying to score. I know we're being a little bit facetious here, but the bottom line is take care of the football and everything else should flow from there. Quick lesson, never ask the play-by-play -play <laughs> guy a question. Hey, you're my partner. I know you're right there with me. Oh, Fournette loses it. It's out. Could have been a costly mistake, but as it turns out, they keep possession. You can't give away these types of opportunities in the red zone. And I'm sure that was flashing through his brain as the ball escaped his hands. Fortunately for him, able to get picked up by his team, fumble recovered. They still have an opportunity deep in the red zone. Yeah, he's got it. And in for the Buccaneers touchdown. Tom Brady to his old Patriot pal, Rob Gronkowski. And the Buccaneers are an extra point away from tying up this football game. Extra point up and good by Sucka. And we are tied here in the second quarter. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. On the return, Devin Duvernay. And he's only going to get this to the four-yard line. 
Well, not exactly a banner return, so he doesn't give his offense a whole lot of room to work with. They've got to go a long way now to try and score some points. I do know this from experience. There will be a few comments muttered his way by the offense as they head out on the field. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you score points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. They go play action now. Jackson. He's going to look deep for Watkins. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. Just like that, out of danger and up past the 40 now for first and 10. Jackson on the give to Dobbins. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. The last run got a couple here, second and eight. Looking right side, and that's complete to Watkins. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. On first and ten, it's Dobbins. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. They'll run on first down. Dobbins. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. In need of only about the length of the football here on second down. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. Sliding out of the pocket. Got a man, it's caught for a Ravens touchdown. Nick Boyle in the final seconds of the first half. And the Ravens have taken the lead. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and that makes the score 14 to 7. So not much time to work with here. Nine seconds remain in the half as this one is away. Well, from deep in the end zone, he's going to bring this out. And they're going to start in a hole as he's brought down at the 11. offense set to begin their next possession and with seven seconds remaining not much time to really do anything Brady's throw on target to Godwin here and we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter the final shot before half for Brady and he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three.
Ravens ready to receive it. And they've got the lead as well as we resume play in the second half. A very interesting call and one that backfires. I know they're losing Charles, but boy, to start the second half with the onside kick, risky. Felt like a sense of urgency from their side, coupled with, you and I both know the special teams coordinators, they sell their key plays each and every week to the head coach, don't they? Now, I guarantee he's been selling this one. We can get it, coach. We can get it. And that came together with that sense of urgency you talked about. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked up by Jamel Dean. And the Bucs are going to take possession here at their own six-yard line. So it was a drive that had real promise here to begin the third quarter, but ultimately derailed by the INT. And that was the position you wanted to be in, coming out to start this third quarter, get a nice drive going, looking for the end zone. Possibly got a little bit too greedy right there. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. We have not seen much on offense from either side. These last few drives, it has been a struggle. Look at this, middle of the field, a breakaway. The 40, 20, 10, 5, touchdown, Tampa Bay. Leonard Fournette, 94 yards. And the Buccaneers are an extra point away from tying up this football game. So their backs were against the wall, deep back in their own territory, and they run it all the way down into the end zone. That takes a lot of coordination for an offensive team, doesn't it? Because, let's face it, it's really not a surprise that they're going to run the ball in that situation. Backed up that close to their own end zone, usually do call running plays, trying to be safe. Instead, it turns into an electrical run, a bolt for your team, and off he goes to the races. A short kick, taken at the 18. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. set at the line for this next drive. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback <laughs> some confidence. See what happens. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. And a dangerous throw there as that's knocked down and incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Third quarter, all tied up. This is second and ten. Here's Jackson. Oh, he's going to let this go for the end zone. And, oh, that one going to wind up incomplete. Nearly an interception in the end zone. Probably should have been. Third down coming up. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. On third down, here's Dobbins. And some room to work. He's at the 30. Ten. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. J.K. Dobbins, his second touchdown of the night. And the Ravens have broken the tie. Tucker with the extra point, And the lead is now 21-14. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. 
And they hit the home run last drive. One play on the ground all the way to the house. Now the defense, maybe they're expecting a run here. Partner, I love your description because when we talk about hitting the home run, we're usually thinking about a passing play, aren't we? Something in the air, deep ball. But how about them just taking it? Big time jaunt. Now if you're coming back out, now they've established this run game, the play action pass could very well be open. Fournette once more on second down. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 110 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. So a good run by Fournette. Now another first and 10. Here's a handoff out of the gun. And he'll push this forward only to about the 42-yard line. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Here's a give to Fournette, and maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. They wind up losing a couple there, so they go behind the original line of scrimmage, and now third and 11 coming up. Brady now to throw. Wide open, Gronkowski. Past the 20. <laughs> They're not even trying to do anything. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. And yes, they want the points. So they will decline <laughs> the penalty. No question there. You don't think they spent a couple seconds mulling over with the penalty? I don't even do know why they asked the sideline. Not at all. When you put the ball in the end zone on a takeaway, take the points and keep moving. Extra point put through by Suckum. And that will tie our game here in the third. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. Oh, the return is Duvernay. And a nice job there on special teams to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14. For most people, the excitement of the kickoff return is to see a long one that goes back in the opposite direction. But for the guys covering it, it's being able to stop them deep in their own territory. How about that incredible form tackle right there? Shoulder in the ball carrier, and down he goes. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. A little do-it-yourself run right there and a nice game. And I like that he knew that that was about all he was going to get. So he did a nice job of protecting himself, took care of the football, took what the defense gave him. If they continue to allow him to do that, they'll find their way taking what they can all the way to the end zone. So they'll wind up losing five yards on the play, and it'll be third down. Well, that play really didn't fool them. They completed the screen pass, but for lost yardage, a really nice play by the defense. On third down, Jackson. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free, and it brings up fourth down. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started, and that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty, and before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. And a tough ask here. They're going to go for it on fourth down and nine. And that's going to be caught. It's James Prochet. And unable to break away, they stop him a few yards shy. Boy, a curious decision to go for it doesn't pan out. And the Bucs are going to take over with excellent field position to boot. Now Leonard Fournette. And he'll be taken down near the 20 at the 21. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. And they won't be able to run another play. Time has expired on this third quarter. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Oh, you got Jimmy, three, 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 three. 
Now Brady. He gets it left side to Johnson. Touchdown. Brady, Brady. Tyler Johnson from 21 yards away. And the Bucs on just two plays have taken the lead. Extra point up and good by Sucka. And they will take a seven-point lead. So the extra point good, and the roughing call going to move the ball out to the 50 for the kickoff. And I think this is a good chance to pin them deep if you can land the kickoff inside the five-yard line or so. Gain some field position for your defense. After the roughing penalty on the PAT, they'll kick off from 15 yards further upfield. This will be fielded inside the five. And not a good return here at all as they'll be forced to start at the 12-yard line. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 12-yard line. They'll start with a handoff to Dobbins. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Off the play fake, here's Jackson. This will be caught by Brown. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. So first and 10 now from the 30. Here's Jackson to throw. Rolling to his left. Now he'll square up and throw deep left sideline. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. They've been trying and trying, but they haven't sacked him yet. He's been able to get away and make plays. Tried to make another one downfield right there, but to no avail. They'll have to keep up the pursuit, though, and not let him get hot. On second down, a run with Dobbins. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to pull those nickel or sub packages, don't they? Forced out to his left. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted. Thrown back across his body. Picked up by Levante David. And the Buccaneers will take over possession here. Up at the 44. And Brandon, this is a real nice job defensively of getting inside a quarterback's head and figuring out, okay, where is he going with the football? Because you can make an educated guess defensively, not all the time, but sometimes. And when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. They'll try and run some clock with Fournette. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. So it's Buccaneer football as we welcome you back. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. And bulldozing his way through. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 128 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. They'll run with Fournette, and maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they'll get it with just under 90 seconds remaining. Second and 11 now. Brady going to throw here. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. 
Picked off by Deshaun Elliott. And the Ravens are right back in this football game. A critical error there in a tight game in the fourth. All you talk about is taking care of the football, and especially with a lead here in the fourth quarter. Turning it over, now the door is open for the opposition. Just in general, when you're passing in the fourth quarter with a lead, no matter at what point, you got to be super careful. Got to be careful, and sometimes you can be so careful that you end up running yourself into an error. Jackson to throw. They set up the screen for Dobbins. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Jackson. He's going deep for Brown. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. These are the spots, this stage of the game, where it pays to have speed on the perimeter, doesn't it? It certainly does. And in the second quarter, he may very well run by him. But in this situation, I know as a defender, I'm loosening up a couple of extra steps that allowed him to run with him stride for stride. All right, for the third time, Jackson going to be intercepted. Picked off by Levante David. There he goes, right side. And it's a pick six. He brings it back to the house for a bucket air TD. Oh, that's about as tough as they come. You're driving to try to put the ball in the end zone and tie the game, and that happens. It's exciting for us, wasn't it? Because we were thinking, hey, we might be headed towards overtime. Instead, it looks like this one may very well be done. And guess what? If you're a fantasy owner and you have that defense, he just had a big, big game, didn't he? Extra point put through by Suckham. And the lead now up to 14. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Looking up into the lights, and he muffs it. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. They have a little bit of time left here, but this one not going to go their way. And this is where, in this situation for me, you just go ahead and run out the clock, shake hands, congratulations, and move on. And he's got it. What a catch on the sideline. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock stops with 23 seconds to go in the game. Here's Jackson. It's complete to Brown, right side. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. Now Jackson. And it's caught. He's got it for a late touchdown, but probably a little too late. It would take a miracle of epic proportions if they're going to pull this one off. Tucker now to add the point after. And that'll cut the lead down now to a touchdown. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And he can't field it cleanly. It's loose. It's a squib kick that still makes its way down inside the 15. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. And this one all over but the shouting, you might say. Now there's one timeout remaining defensively, but... Probably no real need to use it here. Yeah, the only time they would use it, strictly for pride. And with just inside of 10 seconds to go, they'll burn their final timeout. Nine seconds left. For the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Again, it's Fournette. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. 